Greetings from RC Mojo. Today we're going to be building and fitting the 3 Racing Damper set. This set is actually for the TA-05, but as we're expecting to run the car on less than perfect surfaces, the slightly longer dampers, and when we get to them, slightly modified suspension, will give a bit of extra ride height to clear the debris on the ground. The kit comes with lots of parts, several ball ends, two different pistons, a 2 and a 3 hole, along with all the usual parts for a damper set. Unfortunately, if you look closely at the diagram, you'll see there's supposed to be two O-rings in each damper to seal the shaft. However, the kit only came with a total of four. And if you have used dampers with a single O-ring seal, you'll know just how much they leak. Luckily, they seem to be a standard size, and I just happen to have some in a box that will work fine. Despite the niggle with the O-rings, the included parts are all of high quality, nicely machined threads, and nice anodized finishes. The oil that comes in the kit is the usual unmarked silicon stuff, so we'll be using it to build the dampers, but at some point in the future it will be replaced with an oil of known viscosity. Oh, and before we get building, I've been experimenting with the setup of the dampers. Towards the end of the video I'll show you what I've settled on, using the parts and oil at hand. It might be a good idea to watch that before you start building. Ok, the build of the dampers is pretty standard. A piston goes on the shaft with eclipse on both sides. Uh, the shaft then gets put into the body, a spot of oil on the thread to help protect the o-rings, then an o-ring followed by a spacer, another o-ring and the end washer goes on which are all held in place by the bottom cap. It's a tight fit but it does all go in. Next the ball end goes on, remember to use some cards so you don't score the shaft. Now the damper gets filled with oil, slowly move the shaft up and down a few times to release any trapped air. The top seal and top cap go on now, then it's just a spring and retainer. Repeat three more times and you'll have a set of dampers ready to fit. Um, yay! <laughs> Alright, all the dampers are built, so it's time to take the friction shocks off the chassis and fit the nice new dampers. The top mounting uses the long 3mm grub screw with a ball end threaded on. The bottom, if you follow the instructions, uses a 3mm screw, but the dampers are a little long, so I changed to the slightly shorter closed ball ends. As to the setup, after much experimentation, I ended up with the black springs and oil that comes with the dampers, the shortest ball ends, as I just said, and three hole pistons. The top of the dampers are mounted on the inner holes, this setup is a little stiff as far as the spring goes, and a little light on damping, but even so it's light years ahead of the stock friction shocks. The car is now very predictable, can slide with some degree of stability, and when everything goes just right it'll actually do donuts. Another step complete in our quest to dial in the TT-01. Next time we'll be looking at the steering with some turnbuckles, and maybe also fitting the adjustable arm set. As always, if you want to find out more on this and other things RC, check out rcmojo.com.